Hi, I'm Greg Dell, and I'm here with attorney Rachel Alters. Hello, Rachel. Hi, Greg. And a recent case came out against Unum Disability Insurance Company, and you know I always like to see a case that Unum loses. Of course. As it's, as it's very good for our claimants, and all those people have Unum claims. But this one in particular um, is actually a really good victory for this doctor who had this um, long-term disability claim, who was on and off claim with them for years. So I'm going to let you talk about it and then we'll get into the takeaway from this case and the importance of how it will benefit other claimants in the future. Sure. Um, this is a case that a neurologist who had a disability policy with Unum became disabled due to a heart condition. He was no longer able to work full-time so he um, filed a claim and Unum did pay him for approximately 24 months and at that point there was a definition change so they cut him off. He appealed, lost, went to court, um, ended up winning. They put him back on claim for a while, and then he was cut off again. And then, you know, at that point, he lost his trial, and it wasn't appealed. So he went back to work um, and it, for, on a part-time basis, and that's that's what happened with with the claim. But at that point, he you know, continued to pay his premiums on his policy, you know, in an abundance of caution. Okay, so just so he had this history back and forth with mm -hmm. them where he appealed, he won, got back on claim, lost again, appealed, right. and then decided to say, forget it, I'm not gonna go to court again with you. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Right. All right. But during this period of time, he continued to pay his premiums. Correct. Okay. So that gets into this issue of, first of all, it's not always an option for people to continue to pay premiums because if you have a group disability policy and you lose your case, mm -hmm you have to be employed by that particular employer in order to continue paying. So if you have a private disability policy, and I always tell everybody, continue to pay the premiums because if you lose down the road, you still have your policy. So this particular doctor continued to pay premiums, correct? Correct. All right, so three years later, he has another issue with his heart? Yep, no. he got worse and he filed another claim. Okay, and is he, why was he allowed to do that? Because he was continuing to pay his premiums. If he had stopped paying the premiums, he wouldn't have the rights to the benefits. Okay, is this a new claim or a continuation of the old claim? After three years, it's a new claim. Okay. Yeah. It, what's a scenario where it could be considered the same claim? If you are disabled and then you're able to go back to work and you file the claim most policies allow within six months, it can be a continuation of the old claim, which is um, a lot easier than starting over with a new claim. Right. So this particular neurologist starts over with this new claim and what happens to him? Um, he starts over with a new claim and they end up approving. Well, they denied him and then he appealed and ended up in court and the judge found that he was disabled. Okay. So it was very beneficial for him to continue in paying those benefits or else he wouldn't have had the opportunity to get the benefits yeah. down the road. D what was Unum arguing as to why they didn't want to pay him? Um, they originally were saying, number one, they didn't think he was disabled under his own occupation and the other issue was that he was working part-time and the benefits, um, he was paying the premiums, but he was working part-time and didn't qualify because he didn't work enough hours. Okay. And the policy required that you work at least 30 hours to be qualified as a full-time employee under the policy. So in this particular yeah. case, though, the court disagreed and said, no, you are eligible for benefits. And did the court make the determination that he was disabled or did they remand it back for Unum to make a determination? Both. They made the determination that he was disabled and remanded it back to Unum to look at his income to make sure that he qualified under the income component of the okay. policy. So that's just going to yeah. be um, a math issue. Correct. All right. So the important thing to take away from this video is mm -hmm. never stop paying your premiums if you're able to, um, because you never know if you're going to lose your case and then possibly down the road have another claim. You also don't know, um, maybe get cut off and then again, down the road you get better or something like that where right. you need to file again and you want to keep that policy. So this was great where Unum tried to say, no, you're not eligible and this particular claimant continued to pay as opposed to just saying, well, you screwed me over so I'm not going to keep paying. So it's a real victory right. for him and a reminder to say you always have to continue to pay premiums. So. If your claim has been denied, no matter what stage, call any of our attorneys for a free consultation. We can help you anywhere in the country, and we look forward to speaking with you.